Water changes, everybody! Is it for your benefit or the fish's benefit? Well, in this video, we're gonna go through the nitrogen cycle and learn why we actually do water changes. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna give you a couple reasons that water changes can be very dangerous to the fish. Knowing the nitrogen cycle is going to save a lot of lives in your aquariums and you a lot of money. So most hobbyists, when they're starting out, feed their fish way too much. And this food falls to the bottom of your fish tank and creates ammonia, as does the waste that's produced by the fish. Well, that ammonia is very, very harmful. But there is bacteria that builds up in your tank that will convert that ammonia to nitrites. Nitrites are very, very bad. Luckily, we have bacteria in our tanks that will turn those nitrites into nitrates which in lower quantities are really not that harmful to our fish and actually will feed our plants like fertilizer. Most of the time plants are not the solution to reducing nitrate levels in our aquariums so we do water changes to reduce those levels. Wow that was something wasn't it? We all know about the nitrogen cycle now thanks to Big Weave and his little chart and his little voiceover and the, the soft music. Anyways the biggest mistake people make with the nitrogen cycle is they don't let it build up. You have to build up that bacteria first. Slowly add your fish, don't overfeed, and take time. Let your water set for a couple of weeks before you even put anything in it. And then add a fish or two. Yeah, they sell the little bottles of bacteria. Maybe that helps. I, I don't ever use it. I just slowly add fish in. This tank right here, I had it set up for a month before I even added fish. And then I put in a pleco, fed the pleco, and then I added more fish, and then I added more fish, and I haven't had any problems with it. But we're talking about water changes, why not talk about how we do them? How do we do a water change? Well first, very simple, let's take the water out. You can pump it out, take it out any way you want it. Some of my tanks I use a vacuum and put it down there and get all the waste that's on the bottom. Uh, a lot of the poop and dead plants and stuff like that will lay on the bottom. It's called ditritus, and it builds up and it's unsightly. So we use this to suck it out, not suck out our substrate. That's our gravel, our sand, whatever we use. And we'll go ahead and get that extra waste out that we can. Get the water out. How much water? Well, let's take about 20%. Don't just put your hose in and fill up your tank after you took the water out. And don't take out too much water because that throws the whole system out of whack. What's this? This is called Seacum Prime. It's a water conditioner. Okay? It's going to help get rid of the chlorine and bad stuff that's in your water when you put the new water in. Do we fill it up and then put the prime in? No. Let's put the prime in and then fill it up. And better yet, if you are able to, Fill up a bucket or a 50 gallon barrel of water and treat it and let it set for a while, then add it. That way you know it's room temperature. Water's dechlorinated and it's good. So, water changes are great. Do them once a week, about 20% of your, your volume of your tank and you should be good. As long as you have that cycle going and took your time, the water changes are gonna do the rest so important. Slow down that algae growth. Save those things. Water changes? Bad? Yeah, I promise. Here's a couple ways that water changes will kill your fish. Number one, not having the temperature right. If you put hot water or cold water and not like your temperature of your tank's water in there, you're going to really stress out those fish and maybe even kill. So you got to watch your temperature. The other big point is to make sure there's no chemicals in the water that you're putting in, like high levels of chlorine, and that's why we treat them. But also, when you have your hands in the water doing water changes, maybe you're moving around rocks, make sure your hands are, are washed and they're clean and rinsed real well. No lotions or anything like that on your hands because that's a way that you could kill your fish during a water change. Hands with it. So anyways, I'm glad you guys watched this. I hope you guys do your water changes save the fish lives. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and make sure you like and subscribe to Dreamweaver Aquatics. We'll see you next time.